Hello, and welcome again to Sewing with Miss Rice. So this video is just going to be pretty quick. Uh, you can see I already pinned through everything as I talked in this video. Inside looks like a big old burrito-y mess. Um, and we're going to sew through the main five layers I talked about before. So you're just going to pull down your presser foot. Make sure the needle is down. All settings are correct. And don't forget, of course, to do your reverse stitch. It's a little different spot. Remember, yours is over off to the right-hand side. So I'm going to do my reverse stitch right there and lock it in place. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me sew this whole thing, so let's cut ahead per usual. Okay, so I've finished it off. Everything's all nice and even, and now I'm going to start pulling it out. Now, part of the reason this whole thing works, and sorry, it's going to take me a moment to get through all of this, is simply the fact that we're sewing all the main pieces together inside out, which means once we pull it right side out, which is a lot like pulling a really long sock the correct way out, um, it's a little more difficult since there's more layers. As you can see here, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Um it causes all the seams to end up inside of the cuff. So oh, then once we're done with that, it's pretty simple. It's just going to mean we'll have to press everything down again, of course. Um, you want to go and press in between each of these steps, by the way, of sewing to make sure everything looks nice. Oh, there we go. I think I'm going to be able to show you here in just a second. There we go. There we go. Once you get to the end, it comes out pretty quick. And here we are. Boom! One stitch, super professional looking. And you can't see a single hem. It looks gorgeous and I love it. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go press this and get ready for the next video. So until next time, happy sewing!